But I can guarantee you, many preachers today, many pastors are not rebuking folks. That's why we got so much sin in the church and so much mess and so much misrepresentation of who Christ really is. And that's why a lot of folks in the world, sinners, don't want nothing to do with the church because they see the mess in the church. And ain't nobody appearing from the pulpit to the door seem to be wanting to get it right. We are too, in this day that we live, we are too, leadership is too soft. We don't want to offend nobody. Uh, listen, I will offend your butt at the drop of a hat and go home and go to sleep. Because I'm not going to be eternally accountable to you. I'm going to be eternally accountable to God. And whether you like what I say or not, that's between you and God. You're not going to get me to become a third party of that. I'm going to do my job. I don't have a problem with offending folks. Because the devil ain't got no problem with offending me. When you come up into the house of the Lord sinning and don't want to get it right, that offends me. It offends my God. You never equate, don't equate, don't equate habitual sinning with making a mistake. That's a deception of darkness. And folks always want to excuse why I made a mistake. No, you are habitually sinning. You're practicing this. This is a part of your life. This is what you do on a constant basis. So how are you going to equate that with made a mistake? Young ladies go out here and give their bodies away to a young man before they're married to him, and they're, they're prom uh, promiscuously having sex. They're being promiscuous in their lifestyle. That is the right word, isn't it? Okay, just look it up in the dictionary. I think I'm right. <laughs> and then when they get pregnant, here's what they want to do. I made a mistake. Well, the mistake was you got caught. You ain't make no mistake having sex. You've been habitually giving your body away all the time. You just didn't have protection, and that seed finally germinated. So don't be coming blowing no smoke up my butt telling me my house on fire. <laughs> Let's call it like it is. It's practicing sin, which is against what Jesus Christ came to do. He came to make us, not just set us, make us free from sin. He came to cause us to want to live for him and not live like we were. So Peter had this hang up. He wanted to uh, be associated with the Jews because they were of his genealogy. So he wanted to hang out with his people knowing that they had a problem. And instead of him being a leader of the church dealing with their sin habit, he condoned it by going along with how he felt about certain things. He should have fasted and got before God and got clean himself. And then he should have went back before those that he's called to minister to and said, that's wrong. You can't be trying to legalize salvation. So Paul got wind of it, and Paul said, I'm going to deal with it. See, you still got some modern-day Pauls. I'm one of them. I deal with it. Bishop Woo Woo and Pastor Tutu and Apostle Goo Goo, they can, they can dismiss it. I'll deal with it. Because what I'm not trying to do, I'm not trying to pack out the church with a bunch of folks that don't want to live right. When you roll up in empowerment zone, you, you got to be ready to roll with the Lord. This ain't no religious organization. This is the house of God. And you got to want change in your life. You got to be willing and ready to hear the word and let the word clean you up. Because Jesus said, now are you cleansed by the word. The word clean you up. Not a long list of rules. I can tell you, don't wear this and don't wear that and don't go here and don't go there. And all it's going to do is make your flesh mad and you're going to go in the house. You know how you deal with your parents when they told you not to socialize with certain folks. You did it anyway. Don't go to that place you went anyhow. Because that's human nature that's sinful. Human nature that's sinful. God told, it, told uh, uh, Adam and Eve, don't mess with this tree. But because they were not perfect, they were innocent, but they weren't perfect. Innocent means they had never experienced sin. They were born innocent. They weren't born perfect. Jesus was the only one born perfect because he was not born of the seed of man. Well, you can say, well, Adam wasn't born of seed of man either. No, he was made from the dirt. You better stay so, Bishop. The dirt had become, if you will, contaminated. Why? Because Satan had come into the atmosphere. I, I ain't going to mess with that. That's <laughs> huh? Are you here? So when you come to the empowerment zone, this is not the, the first Baptist church on the corner. 
This ain't Second Pentecostal Cogent Church of God on the corner. This ain't the Third Presbyterian on the corner. This is New Beginning Empowerment Church, home of the empowerment zone, where you get a worship experience, but more importantly, a word encounter. You're going to encounter this word.